Hello everyone, I'm back again to do another video. Today's video is going to be my August 2015 wrap up video and I read six books last month so I think that was pretty darn good if you ask me and I'm going to get into them because I don't want this video to be too long because long videos are a bit boring sometimes. The first book I read last month was Still Waters by Emma Carlson Byrne. This is a thriller kind of mystery kind of novel and I enjoyed it, I, think it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, Unfortunately I did find it a little bit boring and at times and not a whole lot actually happened throughout the book which was a bit frustrating. It's a very short book and I feel like there was barely any action afoot happening. It was just, yeah, it, it was good but I wouldn't say it was anything special. What Still Waters is about is about a girl and her boyfriend go away for the weekend to the, her boyfriend's old summer house and slowly over the time the weekend they are there the boy starts to lose his mind slightly and has a bit of a mental break basically so yeah it's uh, it was good but uh nothing special and i thought it was a little bit predictable and i believe i gave this three out of five stars and then i picked up black ice by becca fitzpatrick i seem to have been going for a bit of a theme last month of thriller mystery books because this is also a thrillery mystery novel about a girl who gets trapped up the mountain with her best friend and it's completely snowed everywhere and they come across these two guys and unfortunately they are just not the kind of people you want to mix with and they get captured the whole premise of this sounded really brilliant and I absolutely love this book it was really fantastic I heard some mixed things about it but I really enjoyed I read the first two books in Becca Fitzpatrick's Hush Hush series and I really enjoyed those I thought they were good but this was even better and it's a brilliant standalone novel that's, that's creepy and intense and just loads of things happening and lots of plot twists and everything so yes I believe I gave this four and a half out of five stars and again, following with the theme, I read Seventeen and Gone by Nova Ren Suma. Not entirely sure what to say about this book. Basically, it's about this girl who is having visions of these girls that have gone missing and she is communicating in a way with them and they are trying to tell her their stories about what happened and everything. And there are a lot of plot twists throughout this book. And although I enjoyed it for the mystery aspect, I wasn't overly hooked in it as much as I thought it would be. I did like it a lot, but it wasn't as great as it seemed, unfortunately. I really did like Nova Ren Suma's writing, but I felt like this could have gone in a completely different direction and I just wasn't expecting the ending really at all. But it was good and I gave this three and a half out of five stars. Then I read Dead Jealous by Sharon Jones. This one is a really, really brilliant book. Dead Jealous is about a girl who's the summer before and nearly drowns in a lake but is pulled out and saved. Uh, and the next summer she is at a pagan festival with her mum and her stepdad and she finds the dead body of a girl in a lake. And it is all about the mystery of that and the girl trying to prove that she believes that this was a murder when the police seem to think it was an accident. And this was really really good. I love the pagan aspects of this book which you don't usually see in a whole lot of books to be perfectly honest and I really did enjoy it. And I gave this four out of five stars. And then I read Ashfall by Mike Mullen. I got this for my birthday last year I believe it was and I was a bit intimidated by it because it is quite a big book and I wasn't sure what I would think of it. This book is in the perspective of a male character which you don't usually see nowadays and it follows a story of a volcano erupting and turning lots of countries in America into this post-apocalyptic world because they're covered in ash and the world as they know it has basically ground to a stop and the main character is set off across the country to try and find his family who have gone away on holiday basically. Yes that's the best I can describe it but I love this book much more than I thought I would. It was absolutely brilliant and there was just so much happening and it was never boring and I just loved pretty much everything about it and I gave this four out of five stars. And the final book that I read last month was The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I'd heard a lot of good things about this book and unfortunately it didn't live up to the expectations I had. I was expecting it to be a really fantastic brilliant light summer novel but it wasn't as good as everyone seems to think it is in my opinion. I really enjoyed it and I definitely would recommend it but I wouldn't say that it was a particularly brilliant novel on itself. It follows about the girl every summer has gone to this summer house with her mum to stay with her mum's best friend and their two sons and the girl has been in love with one of the sons for years and he has never noticed her that way and then this summer is completely different because she's all grown up and suddenly boys are starting to take a notice in her and everything. It was good, I really did enjoy it but I thought the main character Belly was a little too immature for my taste. I believe I gave this four out of five stars so I did enjoy it 
but it wasn't the most fantastic contemporary book I've ever read. So yes, those were the books that I read last month. I'm really pleased with my reading progress. I'm probably not going to read as much this month, just because that's the way it goes, but I am very pleased with my progress. So yes, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I'll have another video up for you soon. Happy reading. Bye. <coughs> and I read Six Months to Becca. Um, um, it's a take. I have heard some... I've heard a lot of... I really speedy. Speedy Gonzalez from last month.